Hello. Yep. Hello. Hi. Welcome to episode five of Isekai Dungeons and Dragons. We had a little break um, because it was the holidays and Briggs went on holiday and I also got sick and Briggs got sick and also Daniel got sick. We all got yeah. COVID. <laughs> Everyone got COVID. <laughs> um, I only got a cold. Right I just had vaxxed. a cold. I was okay. Um, yeah, and we're going to spread COVID to everyone watching this, unfortunately. <laughs> That's just how it works now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. uh, I, didn't, I didn't realize I had to wear a mask while filming this. Yeah, we all have to wear masks. Whoa, that's a good mask, though. Holy shit. Yeah, you could oh, pick that's it a up good one. You uh, just had that on the standby, yeah. Yeah. I only have it up on my merch store. All right. Okay, so... <laughs> Welcome, guys. I don't know if you want a fucking mask on hand. What the hell? <laughs> well, it's I, it's 2022. I, I I have them in every pocket of every clothes I own, just in case I need I it. Them by the door, so I put them on when I go outside. I you just, weirdos. I don't know. What if someone breaks into my house? I gotta make sure I put the mask on before I. I, 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 <laughs> before I even... <laughs> That's being polite. I just keep a whole box in my car at any given time. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's episode five. It's Tekking's birthday. Happy birthday. You're five years old. I'm five years old. Yeah, he's a little baby boy. Uh, oh, here's another tragedy. When I was five, we threw a birthday party and no one in my class showed up. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry, Tekking. <laughs> I don't know why you're saying that as if that's a why unique are you thing. Me, I don't why know why are you you're saying that like it's a unique events. thing that happened to you when you were five, when that's what's happened to you at every subsequent birthday until current yep. year. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I will say every oh, okay. time we have a birthday. Okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome back to East Sky D&D. Do you guys, and I'm going to ask, wait, firstly, I'm here with Briggs Norman. Hi. I'm here with old Tony Tekken. Howdy. I'm here with the shark Daniel Green. I can't confirm or deny that. And I'm here <laughs> with uh, Cody Schwabity. Why am I always last? I, I, I do it in the order on the fucking thing. It goes left okay. or next time I'll start with you, okay? Okay. You read manga. I mean, you don't man. need to do you that just to appease me. Yeah, you're right. I do read manga back to hey, front. Sorry. That's I should... the first time I'm ever picked first for anything. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. Okay. So nice. I feel bad now, actually. No one can have it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Not me or I'll break your fucking legs. <laughs> Whoa. Is this a character voice of the shark? Remember in episode yeah. one when he had a character voice? And, <laughs> and, then, he, and then he just lost it, episode two. Um, do you guys remember what happened last session? Uh, yeah, we met released. Leonardo da Vinci. I remember that. Oh yeah, and then we fought a griffin. Um, yeah, I milked a man. Yeah, that was the that episode was. before, but I guess the memory oh, of it was still there. Previous. Yeah, so we memory went back to the gone. roost. Yeah, we we gathered our things and we set off towards this this town. Yeah, Engelhart. Um, Engelhart. Yeah. Okay, I write shit yes. down. And the mayor of that town is. Or no, the, I don't, from Mushwick. It's been so well, no, long. No, the mayor of Mushwick <laughs> is there. The mayor His of Mushwick brother. is yes. there, and we were yeah. about to we we're about to get into some some kerfuffles. So the mayor of that town is his brother. Yes, and then Leonardo da Vinci. Also, Rustage, I don't yes. know if you could shed any light on this for me, but underneath Engelhart, I just wrote tables and the chair. I don't so, know if that's relevant in any way. Uh, this is going to be all. For, yes, it's an <laughs> it's an in. This feels like you guys have got collective amnesia and I'm like slowly <laughs> reminding you, like it you just woke up from a coma. Someone <laughs> sounded the alarm and a bunch of people ran out, and then someone said, "Stop, stop." stop. Uh, so don't do it. The table and the chairs is the inn that you interrogated Katya about. Uh, there's, mm. uh, you, do you guys remember anything else about that? Because it's entirely on what you guys remember about that. I mean, uh, I remember she's a soul. I remember her name involved the sun, so soul no, no. or something. <laughs> but it's her... Yes. Okay. So she got <laughs> the contract to take us out from yep. someone in that inn. Mm hmm. I can't remember if she gave us a name. Uh, oh, where's Baby Shark right now? In your arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where are we saved at the end of the ep end of the ep end of the episode? Yes, Where you were, someone's coming and be like, you were saved Vinci. by Leonardo da Vinci. Wow. <laughs> so <laughs> that's something to tell the kids about. That's something to tell the grandkids. Um, Right, so anyone who's like listening to these sequentially in like a year's time, and they go like, between episode four and five, they just forgot everything that happened. We're being surrounded by f***ers, okay? Like, we, we lost ourselves. Yeah, okay. So, 
You guys beat Katia. You interrogated her. She got the contract by a guy from a guy called Skendor in the tables and the chairs, which is in Engelhart. Um, you guys went to Engelhart because you also heard that there was one of those holy sites had been lit eastwards. Um, mm. and, got that on my phone. Yep. Yep. And as you entered the city, Delwyn stopped you. He was like, "I fuck you guys. You always killed me." And then all the guards came to you, but then you were saved by Leonardo da Vinci, who said, I am Leonardo da Vinci, and the king has said these people uh, are not to be killed. And then he, like, rubbed his hands, and he's like, we've got some work to do. And <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I have not worked on my Italian accent between the last episode and this episode, and maybe I've tried to work on it to make it worse, actually. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but so the episode starts... And you guys are walking through the town with Leonardo da Vinci going to um, essentially the main mayor hall. They've been let in. Dalewin is there. He's very frustrated and very upset. Um, and Leonardo da Vinci uh, is just casually talking to you lot. And he says to, to, the, to the group, So, uh, <laughs> I, how long have you been, um, what is the word, like, in this world? Duh. I don't know, a couple days, a week. I don't know. Has it been a week yet? <laughs> Buongiorno. It's, uh, it's actually been uh, six days. <laughs> six days. All right, cool. We've been here about six days. Um, William Shakespeare is currently losing his mind because he does know who Leonardo da Vinci is. Um, I get and you. he's just writing down everything he's saying, like, oh, oh this, this is Leonardo da Vinci. He's, he's a genius. Um, yeah, he's the guy that uh, uh, painted that picture of the uh, Mona Lisa, right? Ah, you know, yeah. you know my work. You know the Mona Lisa. Yeah, I, th I think everybody pretty much knows about it. It's it's uh, everybody like, knows it, about the Mona Lisa. Yeah, yeah we like a uh, starry night. You really like a starry night? Uh, uh, is that not by Van Gogh? <laughs> Wait, I was, yeah, I was gonna say, is that the joke? Oh, the yeah. shark's fucking illiterate. Of course, he doesn't know who the fuck Da Vinci is. Leonardo Da Vinci was always gonna take credit for it, though. He was like, "Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah." Okay. If you're like a, it must be. Did you guys think I was that fucking stupid for a second? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I knew, I knew it wasn't you being an idiot. I, I knew well, it was. I knew well. it was the shark. Um, I mean, like, I was like, Van Gogh probably drew a lot of shit. Like, did you draw something called a starry night at some point? I don't fucking know. Um, I didn't give a shit about the Mona Lisa. I don't know why that one is so popular. That's my least... If I did a tier ranking list of all of my art, Mona Lisa F tier. Um, well, what, what would you say is your best? I would say that uh, my best art is the one they never found. I don't um, know what that one is. <laughs> I, I don't think they've ever talked about that. It's called... The uh, shark... The shark's going to lean into Norman real close and go, Is that Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> um, the equivalent in the Italian art world. Gosh. They have a they have an art museum in uh, Nebraska that I've been to, of course. You know, there, there's a few. I didn't see any crazy things about that. Though. What the fuck yeah. is a Nebraska? <laughs> well, it's a state in the Union. Uh, it's in the Midwest, uh, capital Omaha. You know, we're very proud of the uh, the Cornhuskers. Yeah. That is <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> that is my question, Rustage. Is he wearing a necklace, and what does it look like? Oh, you, you, yeah. You're looking at him. He is, yeah, in fact, I'm wearing looking a necklace. At da Vinci. I mean, oh, it would yeah. be weird if Leonardo da Vinci was here and he wasn't wearing a necklace. He <laughs> <laughs> was just, just a coincidence. <laughs> he just he actually got isekai into Italy. Yeah. <laughs> this is where like he's food. from. This is where he started. <laughs> um, he does. And it has uh, like a little eye on it and like um, uh, just some interesting line art around it. Um, okay. And right. Eye and lines. Gotcha. Eye and lines. Allu Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The letter I or an actual I? No, an actual eye. Okay, I was thinking it was the letter I, like the Incredibles. Like no. he's part of that. <laughs> All right. I think mm. I know what it is, but like... Cody would Cody not. Cody has <laughs> no idea. <laughs> okay, um, so you've only been here for a few days, maybe a week, and you already found one of the holy sites. How did you do that? I've been here for like a year, and it took me ages to get any sort of... to be able to find my own holy site. Well, this Buongiorno. <laughs> that is an Italian. You speak Italian. 
I got even a wabbity. We need a guy. We need a Oh my god, this needs no. to No, no. Rustin no. just to hate Rustin. crime at this point. Cow, cow, you'll meet you, 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 Camel, Norman. <laughs> Man, he's lost it. Sorry, what was Norman saying? I, I just said ciao, you me camel Norman. <laughs> what? <This> is... <laughs> it feels so good to meet other fellow Italianos. I don't know any Italian. My family's, uh, my family's even... Scottish. I don't know anything Italian. I'm not even Italian. I just live in New York. <laughs> I don't uh, know what yeah. it... Is that like a York, but a new... Whoa, I knocked over my water almost. Um, <laughs> he's, oh he has a glass of water, I guess. Um, I've been here for for about a year. Um, when I when I came here, there was not uh, any other people like me. I was uh, very lost, but uh, I've managed to make some headway in this world. Um, mm. And as he he continues to talk, as you guys enter the uh, the mayor's sort of the mayor hall. And you, you go mm. inside and there's like this grand long table and sitting at the end of the table is this really like large fella. Um, oh, he's got, okay. He's got no hair, uh, but he's got a big bushy beard and Shark he's wearing gonna, nice felt. Yeah? Shark's going to look at Da Vinci and go, all roads, you know, they, they lead to Rome. Ah, you will know. I am from <laughs> Venice, I think. <laughs> <laughs> can't remember. No, we have to do like a history lesson before every. Oh, do you know? Episode. Here's a really fun fact. Do you know why are so many great artists come from Venice? Uh, it is because um, the when they make a lot of ships in Venice, and then they have the, um, the 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 cloth that they use for canvases. They make in mass production in in Venice. Um, yeah. And so lots of artists go to Venice because they can get cheap canvases because they're using. Uh, the stuff that they would make into sales for ships in Venice. We uh, we just go to Walmart and pick up like <laughs> stuff that we need. But Venice I cannot is believe, cool. Rusted, yep. you have tricked us into being on a history podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that idea. I can't. Listen, it's like it's like the it's like a really shitty history podcast where it's my approximate knowledge of history from yeah. just <laughs> things that have randomly picked up throughout hi throughout my history. Um, but as you enter into this room, you see this large man, big, big brown beard. Uh, he's got pelts and stuff on him. And he goes, Da Vinci, welcome back. <laughs> oh, my good friend Da Vinci. Um, and then he looks at his brother and goes, oh, it's my brother as well. Anyway, Da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> um... And I like this guy. Delwyn immediately like runs forward and goes, "Father, father, these people—they tried to kill me. That one tried to try to attack me with with. He fired a fireball at me. I I could have, I could have died." And he goes, "Whatever, whatever. Da Vinci, are these your friends?" <laughs> um, mad not Bongiorno, man. Nice to, and he gets up, and as he gets up, like you hear a heavy thud as he gets out of his chair, mm. and he goes over to just like shake your hands, and I, I shake his hand and quite it's, you know, heavy just, thaw. Just like bring it on, you you kind of remind me of a friend back in the uh, Nebraska. His name's Bert. He was my drinking buddy. He's a, he had a beard just like that. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going in for a for a yeah, for a handshake. like a bro handshake. Oh yeah, one of them. One of them. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> well. I'm Mayo Engelhart. First name Chodwell. Um, it's Chodwell. And does he? Does he Chodwell? Is there a, is there a Chod bad? I. <laughs> that's what my parents wanted to call my little brother, but they ended up calling him <laughs> Dalewin. I apologize for my <laughs> brother. Yeah, uh, he's um. He. I know how much. Yes. He was, he was acting like he was kind of a dick, I have to say. I mean, um, I told him to get out of there or we would have killed him. And now, you know, he seems to not be very thankful for that. But whatever. <laughs> no, I mean, there's there is a reason why we put him um, in Mushwick. Um, mm, I see. <laughs> we could he couldn't handle more responsibility than that. And Del I don't know much about this world, but this is starting to make sense. Yeah. And Delwyn's mm. like, they they hit me. They they attacked me. And then he, he puts a hand on Delwyn's head and goes, well, then you should have dodged better, okay? <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> this guy's great. Kill him? 
You no, don't kill my little brother. Hold up. <laughs> I draw the line is on burning. Like, don't or is that like don't. <laughs> Whoa, Da Vinci, who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> don't hey, don't how worry. How about we all have a how about we all have a drink? <laughs> oh, a drink? Yes, we could have a drink. You guys drink? Uh yeah, every once in a while. Ciao, bro. Well, he he just he goes into his pocket and he just brings out a pint of alcohol that's already Jeez. like in his pocket and he slams it on the table. He goes into the other one, slams another one down. And he's got he's just pulling out pints from his pockets. He's like, I always keep one handy. You know, in our <laughs> world, those would be called you'd be called an alcoholic, but in this one, I guess it's different. Let's have a drink. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. so, sorry. Let's drink those pocket pints. Sorry, yeah. someone's giving me advice on trying to do an Italian accent in 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 the chat. I, <laughs> I have it perfect. So Don't funny. worry, I got it. <laughs> There's, I could, I do it perfectly already. So, um, Leonardo's like, I would like a drink, <laughs> and I guess you all drink. Do you drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You drink. I drink absolutely. Um, I give I, my can drink. I, can I have one shark. too? You, you. Oh yeah, baby shark. Do you give a drink to I baby get shark? Baby shark drunk. No. I'm a oh nigger. my god. I'm not gonna let you get a baby drunk. <laughs> I'll beat hey, the um, shit. No. <laughs> shark. I mean, like, kid, look, kids what, usually what, shouldn't drink alcohol. Well, you see, when I was a kid, you know, we would teething, and my dad would give me some whiskey on my gums to, you know, ease the pain, but no I'm more than a drop of whiskey. Some liver, some beer. You know, he's had a stressful couple of days. I'm gonna give him. I'll give him a little mug. Just a little mug. A little mug. Okay, I, I admit and, the mug is adorable, but you can't give a kid alcohol. I'm sorry. It's light beer. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, bro. Barely even counts. Tony um, is like, what? <laughs> well, the the mug's small enough. I think a sip. It's okay, but no more than that. Okay, I doubt the deal. baby will even like drink any of the beer after a sip it will be like this shit's horrid <laughs> is that okay. well, how does, how does the baby respond I mean, or he drinks the beer. beer the baby and what do you guys want i mean i can guess the roll the baby likes the beer what 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 are we, what what sort of role is that? Like do uh do what I did, do the severity, do the D one hundred. D one hundred for how like yeah. how he ranks it out of a hundred? A yeah, hundred yeah, being he loves it, one being he hates it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's just do that. Ninety nine. Seventy six. Seventy six. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. boy. Um, I like he take, that beer. He takes a sip of the beer and he goes, "You know what? I thought this would be horrid, but it's actually quite nice." Uh, no, he doesn't talk like that. He doesn't speak the like that. The baby just no, starts talking goes, like, "What the fuck?" I was about to have got my mind blown. No, he he takes a little bit, goes, "Al al alcohol." <laughs> Taste, oh my god. Taste. I am not going to let you turn this kid into an alcoholic before his first birthday. I mean, come on now. Well, I'm on. probably not even going to make it past day after tomorrow. So let's Jesus. just... <laughs> what? Optimistic. Oh uh, my god. Oh wow. my god. I see you're very enlightened about our, our progress here. We're doing good. I mean, Chodwell looks at the shark and goes, You're a man of culture, I see. I gave my children alcohol when they were young. Um... No further comment there. I just respect the grind. I respect the hustle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll assume this is just... Choke on my water. <laughs> I'm assuming this is just a cultural thing here. I'll go along with it, but I disapprove. You know, no, I didn't anyone... get drunk until I was 15. I have a mild headache. Does anyone have some cocaine or heroin? <laughs> no, we don't have... Oh, I don't know what that is. Ketamine. No, oh, The things friend. that were casually given in pharmaceuticals in uh, the 1920s. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he 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 looks over at Leonardo da Vinci to help explain. And Leonardo shrugs. He's like, "It might be a, some kind of drug." And Chadwell goes, "I mean, we have, we have. You would have to go see the uh, the herbalist." Um, oh, uh, herbalist. Yes. Is his name Herb. No, ah! that would be stupid. That would be <laughs> that would be like having a loan shark called Shark. Anyway, what are your guys' names? Old Tony. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo, your name is also Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> I mean, uh, what? DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCap DiCap DiCaprio. <laughs> Tony's just going to look at you. He's not going to say shit. He's just going to be like, all right, I'll let him have it. Fuck it. Who cares? What's that going to matter? Hi, uh, my, my name's Norman. 
Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too, Norman. You, uh, you're not really drinking a lot of your alcohol. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of beer. You're a pussy. But I do like, I, I like, I like drinking with the boys though. Hey, don't, don't call me that. I can shoot fireballs. <laughs> oh, I can, you're, can, you're I've a, seen him do it. You're a feisty one. I see. I see. Small and feisty. Just like my boys. Yeah. And, and how, you there. How, oh, you got, how, how many kids do you have? I used to have two. And now you only have none. What? But you know, you live alone. Oh, um, and you, you sit on it. <laughs> no, I, the alcoholic youth, isn't it? I don't. We um. I don't really want to get into it. Actually, it's quite a. It's quite a. It's not a. It's not a good subject. Um. No, nah, I can understand that. I wouldn't want to talk about. So anyway, what's going on with uh? uh we're looking for a, a tower, right? Yeah, Leonardo da Vinci pipes up. I am so happy. So you guys are looking for the holy sites as well. Uh, the towers or whatever. Yep. Ah, finally, someone I can share my knowledge with. So uh, he, he just slaps down like a bunch of notes on the table and he looks into your eyes and goes, I I have done so much research. Guys, yeah, we can, all, we can all read that. Everyone here is really good uh, at the reading. That. Everyone's we're great readers. Everyone, all of us, actually. Uh, is it written in Italian? Uh, yeah, probably. I, 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 I can't read it. Really I, can't, I look Italian. at it and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> um, I think the shark's saying he can't read at all. <laughs> I, I'm a big uh, read, read, uh, read guy. Read. It would be funny if uh, canonically wow. none of this party could read. Just. <laughs> 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 old Tony has a high school education. He can at least do that much. Yeah, uh, but he's old. He might have lost it. Oh, yeah, Cody maybe. was educated in the 60s. No, well, yeah. He graduated high school in 70... <laughs> Wait, hold on. 60... 82. Yeah. <laughs> when you finish high school, 18? Yeah. Cody finished high school in 1976. Oh, there you go. facts. There you go. Oh, wait, no, not 83. Shark went 80. to high school for... So 81. he did so long yep. and good in the high school. <laughs> 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 uh, shark's an Oliver Twist type. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, he has all these notes and he looks up and he goes, Oh, I guess I have to explain it to you. You cannot read my writing. Uh, I apologize. Um... I have I have sent a many scouts, sir. Me and the king have been a working close together. <clears throat> and I have found the location of what could be a couple of these holy sites, but I can't as you can see, I am not I am not a a man of peak physical condition like you are and he points to uh, Cody's muscles. And and the rest of you, I am just a one a man and I did not want to get a killed and when I when I heard when you lit the beacon, uh which one of you was oh. it that lit the beacon? Oh yeah, uh, that was uh, that was me. Uh, that was Palladium. He's a pretty cool guy. He lives in my phone now. What the fuck is a phone? <laughs> that... <laughs> I, I explain a phone in like the most. I gotta come up with a simple way to explain it to people. It's that is a fascinating. Talking... I would make a note of that. It's a talking god box. Just let's just roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a ah my my god. He talks inside of my head. Yeah, uh, I can talk to him on the phone, but no one else can hear him. Ah, I understand what a dat is like. I hope your uh, god is as nice as mine is. He's a nice guy. What's your god's name? Uh, Waloxia. Oh, mine's Palladium. That's neat. Yeah. Uh, uh my god's name is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, of course, uh, Jesus. But in this world, Jesus yeah, is we... not, uh, does not even exist, unfortunately. But we all, we all know Jesus, right? We're yeah. all on the same page there, Yeah, right? William okay, Shakespeare's like, oh, yes, I, 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 know, I know Jesus. Uh, <laughs> we, uh... Oh, my God, we're going to meet Jesus in this world, aren't we? <laughs> oh my no, God. no, I'm saying now Jesus is not going to be in this world. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I am not putting Jesus in here. <laughs> He's off limits. He almost was in it, but he's no, he's not. Um, <laughs> like I had, it, oh, he's the I final boss. It, there were, I had the some anime... serious consultations about it. I was tempted to put him in. I had, I, I asked three different people if it was a good idea, and all of them said no. And then Which I concluded probably a bad idea. In the anime Drifters, Jesus is the main villain, but they never refer to him as Jesus for that reason. But it's so clearly <laughs> Jesus. It's so funny. <laughs> 
Um, I mean, technically, shouldn't Jesus be a necromancer? I will. Yes. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I am oh, a giving man. you our options here. And he lays out the notes on the table. This, all right. this is all the information I have. Uh, in the capital city where I uh, spend most of my time with the king, we're good friends. Um, we There is a tower there, but it has the symbol of a bow and arrow. Do any of you have a bow and arrow? I have any a bow and arrow. I pull out my literal short bow <laughs> I just bought in the last episode. I, oh, okay, here we no, go. No, but what I, I mean, symbol? Uh, your symbol is like a, um, a leaf. Oh, okay. Yeah, none of us have that. Yeah, but and uh, shark's symbol is a sword, and uh, Norman's symbol is a book. Uh, uh, mm. So it, I, I guess, until we find the person who has the bow and arrow, that one is useless. Um, All right. Uh, and he shoves that through the side. There is. Oh, I have. I have an idea. Can I take out my phone and use the camera so Palladium can look at the pictures and update it on the radar? Yeah. Go ahead. That's cool. I'll do that. All right. Lady, I'm gonna. Here you go, man. Just tell me, uh, t tell me where all these locations are. Do, 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 picture okay. updated. Do, do, do. One tower in the capital. Added. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Got um, like a this GPS. Great. This is awesome. Yeah. Uh, there is one that we know. Uh, uh, the. There is that we know that is there is a tower in the island on the north the east, uh, but we would have to travel there by a boat. Uh. Ooh, um, what if we could get bird people to carry us? A uh, bird of people? You we mean did the, that with the last one? I point to Little Feather, who L is, by the way, with us. Yeah, Little yes, Feather is there. She she is in amazement, looking around. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, it is. I am Little Feather. I am here. Uh, I I don't. It depends on how far it is. It. Sorry, I've become Italian too. <laughs> 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 it's infectious. No. It, it depends on how far it is. A, uh, it um, we cannot fly for very long. It is so. If it no, is, she's a, pretty. I'm sorry to me. She still has an accent. I'm sorry. That's really funny. Yes, it, I, 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 I have the accent of the people, but not Italian. <laughs> I can't do this. God, have hey, multiple shark, European accents. Shark, I've, I've never heard how Da Vinci speaks. I'm sure you've <laughs> never heard how Da Vinci speaks. Yeah, so nobody has. Judge. There is no recording of Leonardo mm -hmm. Da Vinci out there. So let's, for, let's, all we know that is this could be what he sounds like. Let's not judge somebody based on how they talk, okay? De Leonardo Da Vinci continues. The nearest tower to us is the one that is in Hogardian territory. It is just now north you of sound like, Now you sound like Little Feather. <laughs> I don't, we, <laughs> we apparently we cannot be in the same room. Of course, we'll end up sounding the same. Um, so we'll get her out of here. <laughs> no, it's just a joke. Um, there is a, a in in Hull Guardian territory. Uh, they 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 are they seem to be guarding some sort of holy relic. It could be one of the holy sites. It could not. And then finally. Uh, there might be something south of here in the swamp lands. I have sent a many scouts there, but none of them have ever returned. And uh, that mm. is, and that is all the information I have. All right. Uh, when you say, did you say Hill Guardian or Hull Guardian? Hull Guardian. They're like okay. big brutish, with they got the horns and they got the pale skin. Didn't we fight someone like that? No, he was a goat. <laughs> Wait, was it? I forget. You did fight a whole guardian. If you're, oh, right, if you're not I, talk, right, I wasn't I sure if that, you were yeah. like being in character or not. No, that was in character, but I was also kind of like, wait, was that the same guy? Because I thought that sounded familiar, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. <laughs> All just... right. Um. Hmm. <laughs> He's, okay. Um. I mean, so we basically, you want us to go to one of these locations, is what you're getting across here, right, it Leo? Is it is. If you are, if you're interested in. Lighting these towers and I assume returning home because that's what I want to do. Yeah, I'd like to do that too myself. Well, uh, yeah, any one of these are towers. I mean, it's completely up to your choice as a group. Um, hmm. I don't know how I feel about an island, guys. I get kind of seasick. Um, if you guys want to go, we could do that, but uh, yeah, what is your guys? I mean, you're getting you're getting f four choices at least. I mean, yeah. on top of that, you have other 
I mean, the swamp kind of sounds the least dangerous to me because at least there's maybe nobody like the whole guardians. We're going to have to definitely fight to get. Okay, guys, I have a suggestion for the party, and it's that we do none of these things. Instead, we take the resources we've gathered so far and we come (laughs) together and we open our own brewery. We're going to call it the other world brewing. And what we will provide to these people is an industry they have been seriously neglected with, and that is fine high quality beer well let's not well what's the quality of this beer we're drinking right now is it like you know lizard piss or like what level (laughs) level are we at right now it's literally beer so weak a baby would like it (laughs) that is okay that is a good point that is a good point i don't i mean like i'm not against that idea shark but i'm sorry leonardo dicaprio but um how exactly are we going to get home if we start a brewery what if this becomes our home? I'd really I, like to get back to my wife if I could. Yeah, I don't think I have any intentions on on leaving either. But uh, I'll Ooh. I'll help you. I'll I'll help you go home, Tony. Listen, we've all been brought here for a clear reason. Why was it the four of us? We have I, to conclude that God has chosen us to introduce this world to fine, slow roasted <laughs> hops. I thought you were going to go introduce <laughs> to Jesus for a second there, and I was like, okay. it's like this has become a missionary mission. <laughs> oh no, I don't. Um, I do want to say uh, Chodwell does pipe up in response to something old Tony said, and goes, "We are not currently at war with the whole Guardians. They are a peaceful." There are no wars oh. going on. We're all peaceful with each other. Not so- a single war in the entire world. Not currently. We're in peacetime. Ooh. Holy um, shit. That is amazing. That is incredible. Uh, How do you do it? How do you do it? Well, at least there's no wars with Vistoria. I'm I'm sure there might be right. some wars like out there that I don't know about. <laughs> but just keep an eye on your own your own country, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. Fair. I'm sorry you had unfortunate incidents with Hogards, but um we only fought against one of them, to be honest with you. Yeah. And was he just fighting you by himself? He was the bodyguard for your, actually your little brother. Oh yes, yes. He was. He was thud. That he's the whole guard that you said yeah, would protect me. Yeah, I beat me. the shit out of him. All right, sorry. You beat the shit out of Thud. Is he still alive? Well, he's shitless. <laughs> 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 okay, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I raised up my glass to toast the shark. I'm like, that, all right, that, that was a good one. That was a good one. Okay, uh, then what is the plan here? Are you guys opening a brewery? <laughs> I want to go <laughs> home. <laughs> I have so many. <laughs> Leonardo, I mean, you're a cool guy, I guess, but I don't really know much more about you other than you painted a woman, and that was pretty much it, so. I have made so many inventions. I made the whirly-whirly thing. That was like a helicopter before helicopters existed. <gasps> he never made it. It was purely conceptual, so you're lying. Clearly, this is not really Leonardo da Vinci, and we need to kill him immediately. No, I made one. They never found <laughs> it. They never found it. I made one, and I flew, but they never found it. All right, Leo, calm down. Don't worry. Shit flies in the future. Let me assure you, things fly in the future. All right. I don't know. I mean, like, this brewery, I honestly, running a brewery, that doesn't sound like a bad idea, you know? All right, look. I mean, like. <laughs> Leo, bro. We're gonna I just want to go home. home. We're going to get me home. We're going to get Tony home. Because if I miss another shift of that 7-Eleven, the manager is going to fire me. <laughs> I can't do that. You haven't been so. back for a week, so you might have already gotten fired. I uh, I assume... Uh, you don't think he'll like, put us back like in the same place? I hope... Oh, I God. I, oh, can, is that an option? Well, I, I assume if we've all been pulled from different time periods, they would probably put us back in the same place that we came oh, from. Oh, God. Dang, God. All right. <laughs> Are you sure, though? No. Why are you assuming well, that nope. if you'd be put back a week later, there wouldn't be like a police investigation or anything, a missing persons report? You're like, no, I might lose I, my job. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, my wife, my kids, I'd be freaking out I'm thinking I was dead. I'm on my last yeah. warning. <laughs> your boss like, sounds like an asshole. Cody. Your, your boss is like, uh, looks like Cody's gone missing. Uh, everyone's really worried, but I gotta fire him. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last 7-11. straw. I mean, this is the third time he's gone missing this month. And last oh, time, happens. you know what last I mean? time he Weekend just vendors. He, <laughs> he spent so much time in the gym, people thought he went missing. 
<laughs> to the little boy who finds him. <laughs> Cody's family doesn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, he's just he's like, oh, he's probably at the gym. He subsisted yeah. on he subsisted on Gatorade and protein powder for three days straight. Mm-hmm. Just nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I'm mean, giving you a choice here. I don't. I. I mean, whatever one you guys are going to do, I'm sure I could find other people to... We could hit them all. It's up to you, guys. I mean, unless you have other things you want to do in the city, I give you decisions. What does um, a business license cost in the city? A business... Listen here. I actually think the brewery <laughs> is a good idea. It might be able to help us gather more, like, resources and people raise funds for the cause. We but can I can go do other missions after our business is stable on its own. That way we have a revenue stream to keep us afloat while we quest. Leonardo, it's not a bad idea, actually. We is, only have, like, it is I have a, five gold, and that's it. Leonardo da Vinci puts a hand on your shoulder and goes, You are a smarter businessman. I can see that. The Italian blood runs through your veins. And um, this is where I have to say something that's the most painful thing I've ever said. What? Could I take out a loan with you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a loan. Wait, you want to take a loan from me? From yes. the, the king? I need you to shark me. <sighs> I cannot do that for you. Uh, oh, the tables have Look turned. This. Oh, the turntables. Oh, the Look turn at this character tables. growth. He puts he puts um, down a uh, hundred gold I, on the I table. This idea twenty minutes ago, and I've been building towards it, and I'm so fucking mad it didn't land better. <laughs> 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 he, so sad. He, I I misheard you. Yeah, how much I money? Thought, how much money does the shark have? I don't know. Not much. We only have, like, I have five gold and a silver. Yeah, I only have five. He puts down a hundred gold on the table and goes, I'm giving this to you as payment. Wait a second. Let me try something. The king is still here, right? The the mayor of this town. The mayor is still here. I'm like, hey, mayor. um, Yes. You have, like, a, a building that we could just, like, use as a temporary place so we can always come back here and we can hang out for a bit. Of course. Maybe we could start a brewery there. I don't know, but just a place we can hang our hats, you know? Um, if you're cool with Da Vinci, you're cool with me. Yeah, um, we, we're cool with Da Vinci. He draws shit good, I guess. Yeah. Well, he's um one of the key advisors to the king, and so I can't really say no to him. Um, so there you go. We got a free building. There we go. Yes, you can. So we have a building in the town. We have a hundred golden startup costs from Leonardo paid to the shark. Uh, are we just going to do like a time skip montage of us setting up a brewery and establishing <laughs> like trade connections in do the, we, the, the do town? Do you want to do that first before you <laughs> That's not go... a bad idea. Let's Wait, do I mean, that. I, I, okay. You can like, do that first if really you want happening? to. All right. You can, I mean, you can turn a brewery. Leonardo well, da Vinci this is not looks what at I you. imagined when I thought of getting Isekai to another world, but sure, let's, let's start a brewery. <laughs> Why did I become Italian? <laughs> all right, let's do it. We all want to become Italian together. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. All right. And you I got- feel like I feel like this works great. We have like a great team to establish yeah. a business. We do. I feel like old Tony, uh, like alongside the shark, could just be like such a good administrative pair, like talking to people in the town and establishing mm-hmm. connections and stuff. I do all the heavy lifting. Norman does all the accounting. And it's just like, I mean, Leonardo da Vinci's gonna draw your banner. Let's uh, go see William this Shakespeare Let's- will do the newspaper ads. Let's oh go to this gosh. building. Come on, show us this building. Let's see what we're working with Thank here. You so much. And I used magic to help so we can brew some good beer. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. a master brewer and distiller because I actually have that I got, skill. Oh, on a character. I, I got my mop. I got my broom. I'm gonna clean out this place. We're gonna make it look spotless. We're gonna, we're gonna rearrange some furniture. We can do this. I mean, he takes you to a to a a nice looking building. It's on the main street. Um, oh man, this is cool. Yeah. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci goes. Okay, I'll let you open. It's a good idea, but I also want to go home at some point. So we'll go home at some point, Leo. All right, but we gotta have we we don't have any place to just hang out. It also it could be it's a pretty good a home base as well. Yeah. What Mm -hmm. shark? What was the name for it again? What what name? Otherworldly Brewing. That's actually pretty good. That's a pretty good name. I I don't have any. I don't have a problem with that name. That sounds good to me. Let's do it. All right, let's All make right. a montage six months of yes. starting up a small business. <laughs> you guys, you, I mean, you guys, right. you guys uh, start, I mean, you hire some construction workers, I assume, to help, like, yeah, make it all 
putting um, all the distillery stuff in. Old Tony at level three, he gets Emissary of Peace, which gives me a boost to my persuasion checks. So I'm just going to go around the city and just like try to persuade people to invest in our brewery and get Honestly, us like... Honestly, yeah. just do a flat, yeah. flat persuasion check yeah. and I'll show you how many people like were the results of that. All right. So this will be, I'll use Emissary of Peace. So this will be plus That's... five. Uh, everyone has a roll. I'll make them do a roll for it. All right. That's 16 plus five. So that's 21. Okay. That. So you walk around, <laughs> persuade. I mean, you find this person who's currently like building, just building a house somewhere else. And um, I assume you, you're trying to persuade yeah. him to. Uh... I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, he's building a house. It's just like, uh, all right. Hi there, sir. Uh, my name is Old Tony. Uh, just moved into the town. Uh, we're starting a brewery down on Main Street. Maybe you've seen it. Uh, um, a brewery, eh? We don't have one of those in Chudwell. In, uh, well, sorry, it, 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 what, what's the name of the town we're in again? Chudwell's we have to know before we're gonna. <laughs> Engelhart right. is the town. I call it Engelhart. Right. I, you know, fuck it. We, I sometimes call it Chudwell. We have an address. I want to make sure to keep that on the W two forms and everything. So, well. um, any... <laughs> we're uh, we're we're in need of. Uh, we're gonna need some construction. We're gonna need a place to put in like the the brewing. You know, the stills and everything. Of and... course. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need someone to build like a counter and some tables, make the make it like a kind of a brewery, but also like a restaurant kind of style, you know? Wow, that sounds like a job for me. And you know what? Yeah. You you've already convinced me that this town needs a brewery. Damn straight, son. And um I'll work for free as long as I get some of the um you know the uh Oh yeah, the out booze? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. have a bunch of different micro brews, we'll make you we'll make it work, yeah. Right. <laughs> well the name's Frenrick. Frederick, nice to meet you. I'm old Tony. Yeah, uh, uh, Frederick's like a—he's quite a muscular. He's a muscular lad, um, and he's yeah. got—he's got blonde hair, but he's got like a ponytail coming out the back, and he's got a blonde like mustache. There's a Frederick for you. I, li I like your stash. Oh, yeah. Son. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. your mustache. Yeah. And all right, he comes over with his tools and equipment, and he just starts like setting up all the tables and stuff as part of the montage. Mm -hmm. Um, what is the shark doing in the in the establishment of this? I assume well, you... I'm the master brewer. I need to roll to see how good a brew I make, man. You got to roll your brewery tools, then I guess. Wait, can we can we leave that till the last? We'll leave that till last. <laughs> that's true. That's <laughs> true. That's true. The quality to see how of good it's the actually last thing going to be. Yeah, <laughs> it's just trash. Like it's we just sell shit everything. beer at the end. Like <laughs> <laughs> we should we should um, fast forward to opening night. Yeah, we're, like, yeah. We're, like, we're about to start right. serving people, we'll, and we roll to see what he. Okay, um, any, well, anything, I really want to do. Um, anything else to, before that, though? Yeah, we we'll, do the other that. ones. Yeah, yeah Cody, to, Cody. To, yeah. Cut, to cut down on costs, right? I'm I'm a herbalist. I'm a I'm a sort of naturalist person. Oh, like oh you're getting all the uh, yeah. ingredients. Can I yeah, like do like a survival. We don't need to import them from farms and stuff. I'll just like yeah. set yeah. up something ourselves. Uh, well, I have herbalism kit. Oh, do that. Fuck it. Either that yeah. or survival. I don't mind. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think they're both identical. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I'll, uh, you, I mean, I saying, I'll, I'll handle. I'll handle the marketing. I'm gonna be running down the street with like prestigious, whatever the uh, press spell. Digitation? <laughs> yeah, yeah, press digitation. Yeah, press digitation. Like shooting it up in the air, like new beer coming soon. Distillery. <laughs> 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 um, I mean, okay. Firstly, Cody. Yes, you just go out around town and you you manage to find all these amazing hops and all the herbs you need to make good alcohol. And awesome. can I, can I yeah. suggest a logo? Yeah, what's the logo? Yes, absolutely. Oh baby shark in his baby shark costume. Perfect. Holding a shark. beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Our motto: beer, even a baby would drink. <laughs> that was the bad thing, though. That was okay. It works both ways. It's, it's the best beer, beer ever. for it's everyone. The beer. beer for everyone with a baby in a shark costume. Oh, can I go, Rustage? I need to visit Da Vinci. I need to ask him if he has just just metal pipes or just any like a sheets of tin anything that i can make a pipe out of um i he has wooden he I, he has like wooden pipes i i need i need metal for this to work um aluminum oh, tin man. anything i i can a, he has steel pipes that works i can make that work okay cool like iron All pipes right. Yeah, I have an idea, guys. This is gonna be this is gonna be some like old school kind of craftsmanship, but I can make this work. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, okay. Norman, I I do want you to do a charisma roll. I know you're bad at it, but you are doing advertising. 
What about performance? Oh, if performance. Got, well, I can't, performance. Imagine, yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. imagine you have proficiency in performance, but I think it would be the same role, but you could do performance, yeah. Um, yeah. Do it, do it. I love this shit. Performance is negative one. Yeah. With charisma. Oh, Christmas oh, also boy. negative one, so just do it. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's go. You rolled with advantage? You know why what? Why do I have advantage on? I don't know why you have advantage on, but oh, fuck it. Because you were using prestidigitation <laughs> anyway. I, w I probably should have given you advantage because that was a creative idea. I, I was going to say, oh, I, think, I, yeah. I think I have a spell. If we're doing this over the course of months, I have a spell that can increase like ability checks or whatever. So there you go. Yeah. But there you go. I'll, yeah. give, it, I'll give you that oh. critical success. Plus, it's like it's not all on me, like the charisma of me saying it. It's like yeah. I'm shooting fireworks. Up yeah, exactly. Saying, and you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But what's what's our place? What's our what's our place called again? Otherworldly uh, brewing. Otherworldly, Otherworldly brewing. brewing coming soon. I mean, as as you're doing this, um, this this person attracts you, attracts you, uh, uh, approaches you. Uh, mm. uh, you are it is attracted to your science and stuff, um, and she is a. Uh, she is a lady and Ooh. she has like this oh, no. long waving um purple hair um and she she walks up she goes "Ooh, is this um a new brewery uh uh it, yeah <laughs> yeah Oh, hi! You starting? Oh, this, what, the, hi, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and she she looks into your eyes, and you see she's got like piercing white eyes, and she she smiles and goes, "Wow, I might have to check this place out, little little it, man." Here's a here's a coupon for ten percent off. <laughs> 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 she she takes the coupon and in typical isekai anime style uh she puts it inside of her uh boob cleavage <laughs> boob cleavage yeah, that's that that's sense. funny that cuz you know you got to you got to have some yeah. isekai anime tropes mm. yeah um, of course all all the time yeah and she she to be fair the fact that we are in a town establishing ourselves is like such an isekai thing anywhere this yeah. is great just, like, yeah. it finally feels like an isekai I mean, I'm yeah. tired of sleeping in a tent. It's business. just like, let's just have a business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Something else I'm going to do is... I'm becoming venture capitalists, damn it. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to woodwork a little bit. You know how, like, breweries and restaurants have a bunch of crap on the walls? I'm just going to, like, make some stuff to put on the walls. Yeah. Oh, nice. Like, nice. So it's like the Green Bay Packers logo and, like... <laughs> <you> know, like <laughs> <laughs> like a big thing of Nebraska. No one knows what no the shape of yeah, Nebraska is. Nobody up knows there. what any of this is. Okay. Yeah. So she she rubs uh, Norman's hair and like gives him a little wink as she walks off. Um, and she has a cape actually, because fuck it, why doesn't she? And that's like flapping oh. in the wind as she walks off all dramatically. Um, you said she has purple hair. Purple hair, white eyes, all and right. a cape. Mm. I, I, I think I just had a heart attack. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, All right. I'm I think... never leaving this this, this world. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think everything else is ready with a business. Well, well, yeah. no, no, no. Hold up, hold up. Uh, fucking, uh, what's his name? William Shakespeare has to write some newspaper ads. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> William Shakespeare <laughs> as well. William Shakespeare is writing uh, poetry based on alcohol. Um, oh, incredible! That might be a bit too highbrow, but this is okay. Is this going to be a highbrow establishment, or is this just going to be like a dive bar kind of place? We want to have some status with this place, right? Definitely gentrifying, Ingle. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I mean, he got he got a nineteen. Ooh. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, it's pretty good. Well, actually, he's a bard too, so his words can carry, and you know, <laughs> so his words history. can carry. Um, he got a 19, he, <laughs> it's just really dramatic. He writes, he writes this incredible poetry prose about beer and alcohol, um, in iambic pentameter and people, people are reading this in like the newspaper and on like the posters. I'm like, wow, this really moves me. I mean, as you're walking around the town doing your own jobs, you see people like in tears reading these things. Um, like we've got to go when it opens. Um, what do oh you want God, Little Feather to do? Just, just keep looking good. You know what I mean? Do you mean she can like <laughs> wear like um, whatever? Well, the she's uniform. going to be. She's, she's going the waitress. To be like a barmaid. Yeah, right? like a barmaid when, waitress. When we finally oh, open. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sweet. Okay. Uh, All right. Training, I guess. The shark. It's time for you. Uh, what 
Brewer, what what fucking what fucking ability score is Brewer Supply? Wisdom. It's or chemistry and hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's Hold just on, a straight see. proficiency. Well, let me see if I could pull it up here. It, it's going to be either wisdom or intelligence. Brewer uh, supplies is artisan tool. Because I couldn't find um, any. Okay. Um, couldn't find exactly what stat it was. Like thieves tool is dex. Like what is? Well, you said I could also get a stat boost from your spell or something for. Was that was that crazy uh, when I heard that? I would say it's just intelligence because it's your intelligence required to like. So how this well shit. you know? Yeah, yeah well that's it. just no. He's got zero intelligence, so that's just doing it regularly. You are proficient, so you at least get a proficiency bonus. Yeah. Um, or if it's anything like herbalism, then it would be wisdom because that's based on like your skill with natural stuff. Hold on a second. I, I might have I might have a spell that might give you a boost to this. Hold on. I had it. I, I it was one of the spells I had last week. I switched them out since then. Uh, that's not it. Uh, divine favor. No, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I might have not. I didn't organize it right. Okay. But it's just okay. It's just it's just a normal d twenty plus proficiency. So just fucking do that. What's I, my, what, I don't know what plus proficiency it, means. It's just plus two, but uh, so it's a d twenty plus two. Go ahead. Can I, wait, 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 wait. Um, what's going on? I do. I have enhance ability. What does that do? Uh, it can make. I can give someone advantage on any specific check. All right. Oh yeah, Al, Al's wisdom or like you know intelligence boost. Like yeah, exactly. ability. Yeah, that's, and you know that's what? Stuff. You also have bardic inspiration from William Shakespeare. So, Yay! so you can you can yeah. roll with advantage and then add what for. That's okay. good to do that. I, I have a spell, but it's second level. So I can't do actually, it. in the bottom left of your sheet, the shark, there is a thing that says brew supplies. If you just click on that, mm -hmm. it will work. You, you oh, nice. You have that. All right. Do that with advantage. Go ahead, and you get to roll a d6 on top of that to add to the total uh, roll. Oh, it's this not better, this rolling, be. is it? Oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. On the on on the left, not the right. On the left, underneath your passive oh, wisdom. Oh, okay. there you go. Oh my god! Oh! All right, no. Oh, wait, roll the d6. Roll the d6. Roll the please. d6. Roll the d6. Palatable. Roll the d6. Oh my god! With advantage, he gets a five. <laughs> roll the d6 on top of that. Please Just an, in the one. chat slash r space one d6. There's, it's on the left too. Was a, uh, did I roll with advantage? You did. You rolled with advantage. You already rolled with advantage. Yeah, you rolled with you advantage. You rolled with advantage. Roll an extra... and got a five. And roll, roll, roll an the d six. Yeah. On top of it roll the time. extra d six for the um uh, for Jesus. the right, How do I roll a d six here? Okay. On the, okay. So on on the map on the left side, there's that little menu, and there's a d twenty dice symbol. You could just click d six on that. Oh, I was slightly off screen. Sorry. I was. Now like, you're, fine. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. So, ah, eight. so eight. You got eight. eight. You got an eight. This got... beer, we're gonna have to really push this fucking. Yeah, beer I mean, here. it's All not right. good beer. <laughs> not good beer. It's not we're gonna good have to beer. charm the shit out of these people. Everyone is so hyped because cool. everyone else did such an amazing job that, like, the opening day. You know, it's like it's like a month later or whatever. Everyone's been bonding, having a great time, and opening day. There are All taverns right. in this town. There's just no like, you know, yeah. like breweries. Yeah. Opening day, the place is packed. Everyone's ready for the beer. Little Feather Wait. is like serving it to people. Wait, you're raking I mean, in I, money. I, yeah. I want to put an idea out there before we open, if that's not okay. possible. Right. Okay. I am the shark. I am someone who has outside the box business ideas, and yes. I don't I do. think we ever sell direct. I think we become the beer supplier for the town and what we do before we even open with all this hype is we sign other taverns into long-term contracts where they are forced before to they even try it buy before they even try it even try it because it's such a hyped product all right that way we're right. guaranteed right. at least day a before. i can help you day before. i can help i can help you persuade people with that all, all right, right. Yeah, then. day before and the shark this is all down to you you're the guy Fuck. here so mm -hmm. day before you go to the two taverns that are in this town Right, the tables mm -hmm. and the chairs, which you guys know, mm -hmm. has the uh, Skendor hidden mercenary guild place, and the other one, which is called the Golden Heart, which is a bit oh, posher. Nice. Um, so this is going to be two different checks. You go to the table and the chairs first. Person, All right, and it's per per uh, well, can I do persuasion or intimidation? It really depends on what tactic you're going for. <laughs> for the first one, I'm feeling like let's just try to make a you little will have life for you, Shark. You will have advantage on this roll. 
because because <laughs> of all of, of the good PR. All yeah. of the good PR gives you advantage on this roll, right? You're already coming what? in. 18. So all right. what do you say? What do you say to the to so you go into the bar? Uh, the guy behind the, the the counter is this man. He's got little circular glasses. He's got shaggy black hair, um, and he's got like a like patchy sort of facial hair. And he's like, "Oh, you're the guy opening hey, up the brewery." I'm gonna make you an offer. I think you agree. You would be very difficult to refuse. There feels like a better way I could have said that, but whatever. And what that offer is is, I know you've heard of my product. It's yes. all over the streets. Yes. People want. Obvious. I was so scared if that you're you going to put me out of business. Agree, if you're willing to agree. Wait, what's the what, what's like a cu- case of our beer costing us? What goes the overhead here that I should be asking for? Uh, okay, well, how much do you want to charge for this thing? I, <laughs> that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to get to. I'll try to get a Five. reasonable well, price. a hundred to set up, right? Well, I mean, we well, got the. <sighs> what's the equivalent <laughs> between to... gold and dollars? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we just <laughs> say like so. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Beer beer. So a like 50 a bucks gallon of typical ale in this universe costs about two silver pieces for a gallon, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. I imagine if you're making it quality, you could probably go like five silver pieces per gallon, maybe even a gold per gallon, if it's like quality stuff. How many gallons are we producing? How many silver and a gold? Let's get that conversion down for me real quick. hundred silver yeah. and a gold. hundred silver and a gold. No, it's yeah, ten yeah. silver and a gold. Ten, ten silver. silver. It's a hundred copper to a gold, ten silver oh, to right, a gold. Right, 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 Here's right. what I'm gonna say. Here's what I'm gonna say to this man. It costs us, because of our product's quality, Seven silver a gallon. And what we're going to offer you is to sell it at... Mm, we'll sell it to you at nine silver a gallon. It's a <laughs> slim overhead for us. But because we're giving you such a good deal, I need you to agree to buy from us for at least two years a certain number of gallons. Now, I'm of sure course, of course. you're going to be able to move all of it very easy. Yes, okay? yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. So every week you need to buy... 300 gallons. That's a lot. That's a lot. I don't that think you'd be able to produce that much. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> okay, when he rolled, I don't when know he rolled for those, when you roll those brewer, t- those brewer tools, is that forever? I, mean, I feel like, can we try this again? And not, <laughs> I feel like, like that, is that is the recipe. That is the recipe. That was the recipe. recipe. All right. Yeah. Here's, here's what I'm going to say. But if you agree to this contract, we don't sell to your other competition in town. Oh, yes, of course, of course. I'll do it for a gold. I'll do it for a gold. Per gallon. A gold a gallon, then deal. Gold you a gallon. It. I'm doing it for right. a gold a gallon because it makes... himself. What a fucking idiot. Okay. Yeah. It, <laughs> I mean, you got an 18 and also it just makes the maths easier and I'm very stupid. Okay. <laughs> Fair. Oh my deal. And now I don't have to go roll for the other tavern. You're just not going to go see the other tavern? Um, Sweet. Oh, because I made right, a deal. Then. But here's the thing. I am still going to go there, but I'm just not going to let him know I'm going there. Okay. Okay. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay. Now, uh, you still have advantage for the other one. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me go ahead in this one. I'm going to roll Intimidation. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. You walk into the tavern. It's like a fancier establishment. Uh, the woman behind the... T- uh, it's like a like a middle-aged woman. She's got short blonde hair. Um, mm. And she she's like cleaning some dishes. And she goes, oh, hello. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're- do you own this place? Oh, yes. This is... Oh, my gosh. Oh. Someone died. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. What just happened? Uh, Briggs just disconnected, but I guess he's trying to come back. Uh, we'll just oh. continue without him for a second. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. What? what? Okay, what just happened there? Briggs is Briggs is gone. Apparently. All right. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck happened? I don't know. It, I thought I oh, froze. For he's everybody. back. All right, there I go. Hi, Briggs. All right, we're we're back. Okay. I'm back. He's back. Oh, oh. yes, I own this. The Golden Heart. Great. Uh, can I talk to you about a business opportunity in the back? Um, we can talk about it right here. Oh no! Like I'm, I'm with, I'm from the brewery. We're making, we're trying to set up our connections in town to sell the beer we're making. There's a lot of hype. I don't know if you've heard about it. Okay, okay. And we prefer not to do our business dealings okay, out in okay, public. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but can can Jimmy come with me? And she points over to a man in the corner who's like eight foot tall and like beefed up. And he looks over. No problem with me. Oh wait, I'm coming. And he yeah, like waddles over into the room. Okay, I'm gonna roll intimidation. Is that okay? <laughs> wait, Shark, did you bring anyone with you? No. <laughs> no muscle. No muscle. Shark's no the only muscle. Me. I mean, well, because is... you didn't ask. I'm just happily doing my job. Yeah, I'm setting I'm up some this, this, this pipe project that I'm working on right now. <laughs> Whatever that is, your pipe dream, you might say. My pipe dream. Oh, the pipe dream is gonna make sense. 
Okay. okay. So I'm not okay. sure if this is intimidation or persuasion I'm about to do, but they're the exact same for me. So can I just roll the one? It's I get three. Whatever and tactic you're going with, you have advantage on persuasion. You don't have advantage on intimidation. I'm saying because all okay. Well, you uh, just I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna say what I'm gonna say. Okay. Okay. Say what you're gonna say. So. I don't know if you've heard the exciting news, but I just signed a business contract with your competition in town to have exclusive access to our product. But they did it all just by word of mouth. Can you believe that? I didn't sign any pieces of paper. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's going to really hurt your business, I imagine, to not sell the new hot product in town. Like that's, that's bad. That's really bad. I think people might start going to your competition and staying and drinking there. And what I'm proposing is he said he'd buy it at a gold a gallon from me, and he promised to buy 350 gallons every single week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can make 350 <laughs> gallons a week. <laughs> but oh, I'm with, lying. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, lying. Yeah, 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 yeah. lying, yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you could either, I don't know, buy more at a better price, perhaps... I could actually sign a contract like an intelligent business owner with you. And that way you get the exclusive access to the hottest product this town's ever seen. See, I'm threatening her business to go under. So I don't know if that was role. threatened or intimidation yeah. or persuasion. Do, do a persuasion role. Persuasion. Advan right. You have advantage because of all the PR. 16. Yeah. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Hmm. And I don't care about her muscle being there because what's he going to fucking, like, it's a business deal. I'm not trying to hurt her. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just illegal. It's like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can, I can accept this deal, but mm. I can only go one gold, one silver. At 355 gallons a week. That's a lot of gallons. I don't think you could make that much in a week. I think we can. Okay, then sure. One gold, one silver per gallon. Yeah. yeah. Deal? Deal. Two-year contract. Two-year contract. Sweet. Thank you so much. All right. And, I mean, he, she, the sh the she goes over to Jimmy and goes, get out of contract. And Jimmy just slams a piece of paper on the desk and, like, scribbles out a contract in the most beautiful handwriting you've ever seen. Um, I've seen William Shakespeare's handwriting. Are we sure about better that? than <laughs> William Shakespeare? This is Jim. This is Jim. Jim. Jimian. Jimilan. Jimilan. Jimilan Steel Hand. Um, that's his full name. Uh, and he passes it over to that's you. Incredible name. And she already signs the contract one way. It's already up to you to sign. I signed the contract. Perfect. And it rolls up. And she goes, "Pleasure to do business with you, dearie." Mm -hmm. oh. Cool. Um, so I go back to my guys and I tell them the plan. Yes. All right. All right. Well, there all we right. go. Uh, I can't see any negative <laughs> aspect of this. Yeah. So, yes. So, Norman? I have a question. What's your question? I have an idea. Yeah? It's a little bit cheating now, but since, like, I kind of, we just chose my spells off the top, I saw a new spell that I like. Can yeah. I have that instead? Sure. Fuck it. Go ahead. Well, Wait, I imagine, I like, this is over the course of months, so you yeah, could probably yeah, yeah, switch yeah. out your spells a bunch of times. You know, that's what mm -hmm. I've been okay. doing. Yeah. So... Well, I mean, Guys, <laughs> no, that's not how I, it, wizards I, can't switch out their spells. They just learn an accumulative amount of spells. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's my that's, thing as I switch out. Yeah. yeah. Um, Guys, I have an idea. I, I feel like there's, there's probably a lack of like refrigeration in this world to like keep stuff cold. And yeah. you know, you know what makes shit beer taste so much better if it's cold? I, ice cold. All ice right. cold. It like increases it like. You can have an amazing beer, warm, sucks. Bad beer, cold, amazing. That's now, true, son. So what, do you, what I, is your idea here? I do have an ability that I can create some ice for opening day to make this uh, seem way better than it actually is. I mean, that sounds like a good move. Uh, we wouldn't be able to... I don't know how a refrigerator... Well, actually, Tony canonically worked in HVAC, so he might be able to eventually. But <laughs> well, we don't We don't need to long-term keep it refrigerated. Because but for opening time, night... shipping it out to people. But yeah, for yeah, opening, opening night, night, we should keep it Yeah, cold. Yeah, okay. I think that's a good it. idea. Yeah. Let's do Go it. Ahead. Um, so, Rustage, I've been trying to find one. Ice starts. Can I learn that? It says Tier 1, the website I'm on. I, I don't know. You're sure. I, I'm sure there's, there is probably an ice spell somewhere. There's oh, icy yeah. pole there's, as well. 
There's ice. There's ice knife. I know. Is I mean, I have ice knife, but that feels a little too violent to generate <laughs> ice cubes with. <laughs> violently. Um, I, <laughs> yeah, just shooting ice knives at everyone's coats. Here, I'll just do icicle, which is magical shards of ice are hurled at an enemy. Instead of hurling it at an enemy, I'm just gonna like. I don't know where you're finding this, in. but yeah, I, I don't know what this futuristic knowledge. We could invent electricity, refrigeration, all these amazing business ideas, and we're I, going with booze. <laughs> I think you're just. I think you're just Great. finding some random homebrew spells that you've yeah, found yeah, online. Yeah, homebrew. Okay. I don't know. It, you... it doesn't spell Wait, like sound like on. a spell I've ever heard of. Briggs, are you second level? Right, you can do yeah. second level spells. Okay, there's a spell from Xanathar is called Silox Snowball Swarm. You just make a shit ton of snowballs, and you, it's like a snowball fight thing. You could do that, I guess. Yeah, fuck it. Sure. Yeah. That's good enough. That yeah, fuck it. <laughs> just yeah. make a bunch just of snow. Oh, yeah, he makes snow. There you go. All right, you go. opening I just day. Want to rewind for a second. Yes, to point rewind. Out. It's opening day, but all of this started entirely because the shark knows how to brew beer, and in this yep. whole process, the only thing that has went wrong is, is that the beer the, tastes like the shit. shit. <laughs> That's it why is the it's only like, bad it's like aspect. <laughs> It's like the day before, and we all drink the beer that he's been talking about for so yeah. long, and we're just all like, oh, God, this sucks. Bro, what we... did you do to my hops? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It, it was like, like It was like, it's like Bud Light. It's, like, it's an like eight. Okay. It, ten, 10 is average, so it's like it's an slightly eight. Low it's, 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 it's probably slightly below like, average. Wait, wait, it's, it's, like, yeah. it's, it's not Bud Natty Light. light. <laughs> it's Bud Light. Give me that. It, all right, okay. we made Bud Light. God. With like Norman's ice, it probably is just a 10 now. Right. Okay. Yeah. But, All right, but to fine. these, but to these people in the town, maybe they've been drinking shitty grog up until now. So this Bud Light might taste like God to them. I don't know. True. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna uh, rock their world, but it's probably at least the same or slightly better as what they've been drinking. So, so what Old Tony's pipe project was is I took these pipes and positioned them all throughout the room in the brewery. Okay. And then basically, ah! I'm making a very basic sound system. So I take my phone, which has music on it. And I put it like under one of the pipes and then the sound will carry through the pipes and just like open throughout the entire brewery. So I'm going to put on like ACDC, like fucking. <laughs> oh, my God. Thunderstruck as people are walking in. On but the thing night. is, because Palladium yeah. now lives in your phone, all yeah. you get is Palladium's cover of ACDC Thunderstruck. <laughs> Fine. What, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's kind of hilarious. bullshit. That's kind of bullshit because it was that on there. Hilarious. He's like, whatever. Fine, whatever. Thunderstruck. <laughs> he doesn't quite know it that well. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait, you deleted all my MP3s? Come on, man! I, I thought we were friends. You, well, I just—it's my version's the better. Bing, 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 bong, bong. He does crazy frog. <laughs> I know all the classics. <laughs> okay. Reach like the for the stars. Are they, wait, Rutledge, are they good enough that people will be like, "Wow, that sounds cool," or like, "We'll make our like our business worse"? Well, I'm gonna roll performance for Palladium. Yeah, Wait, why would other people okay. be able to hear him? Oh yeah, nobody, nobody will be able to hear it! You're right! Nobody can hear it! Oh, oh Tony's just jamming out! Oh, Tony's jamming out to, to the Palladium! Months. Now now that's what I call Palladium, top 20 hits! And he's just... So he's just over there next to this big pipe, holding his phone, jamming out like this. Like the other three of us who just stood on the other side of the room like... Shit, oh, that's actually guys. pretty fucking good, man. I yeah. think, I think uh, old Tony. Ah, destruct! Uh, he might have finally lost it. Oh my gosh! Do they have retirement homes in this world? <laughs> I mean, I could I could sing it myself to go through like thunderstruck. I will just hire a bard. We'll let Shakespeare. We do play have bards. <laughs> yeah, we have yeah. a bard. All right, I'll give him the lyrics That's to hilarious. ACDC um, songs. Okay. Thou hast been um, thunderstruck. Thou hast been. Yeah, there you go. William Shakespeare covering uh, All right. thunderstruck ACDC. <laughs> but it is opening night. It is opening yeah. night. Yes. The people right. are here. Right. People in people are here. People coming in. Little feathers serving people. Um, <laughs> Uh, she's having a great time. Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci's the bar there drinking. The business contract with. Um, yes, you're getting that money. You're making that cheddar. Holy shit! <laughs> um, and I mean, people, and then the title card comes up. The title. Ballers. <laughs> <laughs> people enjoy the beer enough. Some people are disappointed. Um, yeah, Little Feather's in a maid costume. Of course she is. Um, oh. <laughs> some people. Some people enjoy it. 
Some people doge. You know, it's pretty middling. But I think people are having a good time because the atmosphere is good. They're, yeah, they're yeah. like, okay. look at the funny images in the wall. Wow, these tables and chairs are really well made. Um, and I, are you guys doing anything like on opening night to like hype it up? Bar anyway? trivia. We're doing bar trivia. We're doing bar trivia. Oh my god. How would bar, you don't know anything about this world? That's <laughs> bar <laughs> trivia from our world. I guess. <laughs> Nobody gets anything. Nobody gets any. Right, of the everybody, questions. welcome um, to the otherworldly brewery. First question: Tony. Who won the first Super Bowl in nineteen <laughs> sixty? <laughs> a terrible idea. Nobody Cody. gets it. Nobody. <laughs> but Cody would get Cody it. Cody gets it. Cody wins. He wins the whole thing. <laughs> he's like, he doesn't even care that nobody else. He's just so enthusiastic. <laughs> the shark. Oh, yeah, Cody. <laughs> he's like, come the on, guys. He's going to pretentiously stand by an open barrel of hops and just talk about his process and how he's like an artist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Cody. Cody's just drinking, going from table to table, chatting with people, fraternizing. Um, the purple haired lady is, is, is there opening night and she, she's bought some beer and she's now leaning up against the counter next to Norman. And mm. she goes, so what's your name, sweetheart? Mommy, uh, <laughs> my, my, my name's Norman. Hmm. Norman, huh? What's that you've got there on your neck? Um, this is a necklace that, well, I'm actually not from this world. Oh, really? Tell me more. Yeah, I, um none of us are. We we came from we came from another another world. Oh, and yeah? yeah, we all have like I could that's why I could use I could use magic, like snap oh. my fingers, do a little wow. prestigious whatever. Wow. That's so y these you are your friends? Are they also all yeah. like this? Mhm. Mm See they all have necklaces too. Or the ones with the neck. Oh, how many there's like six of you guys in here. Mm -hmm. wow. I see her pointing at us. I'm just like, what, what's, hey! what's, what, what's your name? Oh, my name's uh, Villetta. Villetta. Yes. Be beautiful, beautiful name. Thank you very much. Um, she she ruffles your hair a little bit and smiles, and and says, "I, well, this beer is amazing. I hope to see you around, Norman. You being in town long." Um, we eventually have to go and do stuff, but, uh, oh. yeah, we, we'll, we'll be here for, for a little bit. Where are you? I'm glad you enjoy the beer. Where are you planning on heading? Everyone's frozen for me again. Everyone's fro including frozen, including me? Again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Norman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my sweet boy. <laughs> <laughs> Cradles Norman like Norman passes just, out. Norman passes out just, from he's just completely stiff. interacting with a woman. He's Norman just like, completely oh, passes I can't out. Do it. I, I, girl f hair, ah, uh, and then she he just passes out. Um, and he she holds him for a second, and uh, and it's like Norman, you all right? You all right, you, son? You okay? And it's like shreds a splash of, of water in his face. Um, <laughs> I guess in the in the in the meantime. <laughs> Um, uh, Cody, what are you doing? <laughs> um, Cody's just been going table to table, learning people's names and stories, talking to them about, you know, mm -hmm. what they do in town, fraternizing, drinking with them. Ha ha ha. Friend Rick's and like, then, yeah, I built this yeah. shit. Bro. 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 These tables and chairs? Ah. Uh, gnarly. We got better tables and chairs than the table and the chairs. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Um, there he is. Is he back? I just wanted like just as I drink more and more. Um, oh, oh, Norman, Norman, you passed out for a second there. You were okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just saw the most guy can't hold his woman in the world. Wait. Uh, well. Oh my God. Where are you doing? Okay, Norman. It keeps freezing. You keep freezing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I. I'm just glad it's not me for a change. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm. S Maybe you should go lie down for a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go take take a nap. Good luck, guys. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll rest you down here. And she lays him down on like a bunch of chairs, and puts like a little blanket over him, kisses him on the forehead, and leaves. Well, what's wrong with this world? There's so much lag. <laughs> <laughs> and he slowly leaves. Um. Um. Yeah. Cody. Can I? I, I, as soon as I see that Norman and the purple-haired lady have separated, I want to approach the purple-haired lady and go, 
Oh, hey, you were just talking to Norman? Yeah, right. That's just my little bro. You know what I mean? I was spotting him the other day in the gym, 350 pound overhead press. No big deal. He's uh, he's kind of, you know, I know he doesn't look it, but he's kind of, you know, oh, built under there. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying to wing mine him <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he didn't get to say, um, do you know where you guys are headed le- next? I was very interested in your travels. Yeah. East. You, you're heading east? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> That's, what are you doing east? Uh, like there's like a tower. A tower. Okay, very interesting. Well, yeah, I'll be honest. look, lady, I'll be honest. I'm just kind of following the old guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, old Tony, by the way, is just drunk and talking about football to some people at a table who have no idea. Have no idea what football is. <laughs> and he's like, I tell you what, man, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback for the Green Bay Packers, last last game, he was fucking crazy, man. All right, and then she she nods her head east, and she leaves with some alcohol in hand. Uh, she walks out the door. Um, people yeah. are starting like. Why do I feel? Why do I feel like I said too much? <laughs> the the things start to quiet down now. Uh, mm-hmm. It was a generally successful day. Um, okay. Uh, you sold a bunch of alcohol. Uh, as a as a group, you made about seventy five gold. That's uh, that's not bad. Good I guess opening we... day. We yeah. should try a different. You maybe you should try a different recipe, Shark. Uh, maybe you should give it another shot. Yeah, because I mean, you're well, you're not you're not selling gallons. You're worse. just selling you're just selling pints, and so you made about seventy five gold. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, uh, the shark. You are muted, Mister Shark. You are muted. Sorry, I go ahead and I just hire someone else to do the brew because we have to go on adventures. And yeah, stuff. So yeah, as soon yeah, as we're yeah. up, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah we got to. Well, well, what are we doing? Fucking brew beer? We got to. <laughs> I mean, Leonardo yeah, da Vinci it. comes up and he's like, "Well, this was all very great. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure we all had a great time. I mean, I cut to, cut to six months after the conversation we had. Like, well, we made a brewery. <laughs> so, um, have you? You've had a lot of time to think over your decision. What? Wh- where are you guys heading next? Oh shit! I actually never thought about it once for the last six months. We were we're focused on doing the brewery. Um, I forgot what what were the options again. <laughs> well, uh, one one was a swamp. One was a boat. Uh, the the nearest the hall- there there there's. We suspect there might be a holy site in Holgardian territory. Um, there is definitely a holy site. Uh, but on a, on a northeastern island, you have to travel to via boat, and there is a swamp to the south that I've sent scouts in, but they've never come back. And well, we don't know what the I symbols say, for each of these are. No. I say we go to the swamp. I vote there, swamp. Yeah. There might be snake ladies. Bro. That's a weird thing to ask for again, but I, I just, uh, all right, fine. Okay, but let me counter real quick. Holgard territory has a lot of buff dudes. Mm. What's Shark's true. opinion? Cody, that's very tempting, but <laughs> I I am of the opinion we should open our own inn and sell our. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Shark. What is Shark? Oh all, right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. What is Shark's? What is Shark's? One, about... e- one year later, it's like all right, we opened an inn <laughs> what is and Shark's... we opened a brewery. All right. What is Shark's opinion on which direction to go? North to the yeah. whole guards or south to the sh- swamp? North. North, so it's two north, two south. I just, I just want to pause and let everyone know: simple choice we had an hour ago has now <laughs> turned into this because of what yeah. Daniel did. Yeah. Can we? Uh, why don't we flip a coin? Well, we could do that, or we could have some interactivity. We could have the chat vote. If All you're right. 50, can, 50. The chat, can the chats vote represent Little Feather's opinion? That's it. Chat yes. vote yes, will let's represent do it that way. Let's do that. And yeah. William Shakespeare doesn't get a vote. Um, fuck William Shakespeare. Fuck William Shakespeare. William, oh, you weren't here. No, 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 I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, put an yeah, actual he's... chat. I'm putting an actual poll in. Put in an actual oh, poll in. Typing it. You, oh you shit, type we it. gotta hire people to work at our brewery while we're gone. Like, yeah, we yeah. Have... I feel like that's something we'll have been doing during like yeah, months. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. We got everything set up. All right, all right. We can come back. We're probably and hang leaving out. Little Feather here to like be like a like to work. Oh, here, I right? did promise to leave Little Feather. Yeah, the... If you guys yeah. vote north, I'll take my shirt off. <laughs> right th- now, they're not going to vote north. If you vote south, I'll take my shirt off. There no. You go. All right, north to hold guard. Where were you? South I to know swamp. Twitch chat. Twitch chat's hoping for snake girls. That's all I'm saying. If we go south, we might get snake girls. 
Rustage? I'm not confirming or denying anything. Rustage! You're not confirming or denying snake girls. Okay, but they're- I can't okay. tell you what's going to be south. The thing there's is- there's a better chance right. of there being snake girls south than north. No, there's just as likely chance of being snake girls in either direction. Because there's no snake girls! <laughs> okay, a chat. Not everyone's Word voted people, yet. If you, vote, if you vote north, I will make a full video on my channel about this campaign. <laughs> I can do what? that too! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, vote no. And mine, mine's gonna be an hour long and it's gonna have a fucking brick in it. No. So, oh, no. there you go. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. We're just writing checks that we might not be able to cash. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. All right, looks like I, I have mean, to take my shirt off here. No, no, do not take your shirt off. You're wearing two shirts. No! You would have gotten skinned with me, you dumb bastards. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, I mean, South definitely is winning. It's 72% yeah. to 28%. It's not even close. And I think it's really oh, just... I really, I really think it's the promise of Snake Girls, which... Is so just okay. It's not a Which promise. No one has promised. It's just so no funny. one has promised. It's more likely that they would like to be in a swamp in a southern region. That's all I'm saying. True. Yeah. Uh, I've been thinking about this for the last six months. Okay. True. I can imagine you were. I like Probably to hunt, fair. so the swamp. I mean, I've hunted around swamps before. That seems more comfortable to me. You know, I know my True. way around. Okay. Fun. Uh, well, the the vote is over. Seventy-two percent to swamp. Twenty-eight percent to all north. Right. To Oh right. god. Well done, swamp. Well I done, guess we swamp. Move towards the swamp. Move towards the swamp. Hurtful chat. Fucking hurtful. <laughs> I want I'll to, make, I'll I make wanna, that hour long video. I'll do it. <laughs> I want to have a conversation with Little Feather now that okay. we've made our decision. All right, right. Little Feather's just cleaning up. Because I, I want to ask her what she wants to do now. Oh, yes. Because I did promise her brother that I would take her no further than Engelhart. Um, she's like, I, I'm so excited to get going. I, I've had so much fun making this brewery. I want to see the yeah. world. Yeah, a little fatter about that. Look, I made a promise to your brother, not just to keep you safe, but also to take you no further than this town. And we've got that far. But it's up to you. I, my brother is, he's overprotective. I can handle myself in the world. I want to see more of this beautiful place. And I mean, I feel safe when I'm with you, Cody. It's dangerous out there. I, I can get stronger. Please don't fuck a bird. I mean, maybe maybe she could get stronger, and then we could come back and pick her up when she's stronger. No. Maybe I want. To, <laughs> I want to go. Sorry, with I you. just look over after I said that, and Kayla's just staring at me across the room, like, "What the fuck did you just say?" <laughs> <laughs> I... Okay, look. I don't know what's waiting for us south in that swamp, but we will be back here sooner rather than later. It probably took us longer to set up this. <laughs> brewery than it will for us to turn on that tower but uh when we get back you know you could stay here look after the brewery train yourself up you know back what I the mean? money <laughs> I... and then we could take you north you leave me here it's up to you though i don't know i okay i um i can stay here and get stronger if that's if that's what's required to travel with you. It's a harsh world out there, Little Feather. I, okay. I, I will miss you. I'll miss you too. And... Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, can someone play like a little like string section now, please? Shakespeare, Shakespeare, do, do, in do, do. chat, chanted over and over, fuck the bird. Fuck the <laughs> bird. Fuck the bird. Um, okay. She will go in for a hug. Oh, I hug, hug little feather. Yeah. Is what was Kayla's response to lips? that, Daniel? Huh? <laughs> there you go. She will beak her lips. You gotta get a beak job, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> she has a beak. Fuck that no, boy. like you're kissing her. So how does that work? Because she has a. They're beak not kissing. They're hugging. Lips. We're not kissing. Oh, we're just no hugging. kissing. Whoa, slow down. Whoa. So, whoa! Hold your horses, ticking. What do you think this is? <laughs> I mean, what do you think fun, we're doing? This is a family friendly adventure. We are playing at Dungeons point, and Dragons. At this point, I don't we had, know. We made man. a brewery together. You think <laughs> I would violate that with kissing? <laughs> we 
We're not even married. I'm not gonna. Fool. Why would I cross that line? Who do you think I am? I will ask, now that we've opened a business together in this world, I assume we know the world a little bit better because of the time we've spent here and each mm. other. Yeah, 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 just a little yeah. bit. A little bit. Like a, like a common sense rule. Though I almost feel like you were so focused on setting up the brewery, you still know, know anything. We we're, really <laughs> yeah. we we're really focused on that fucking brewery. All right. We'll know a little bit more like about the people. You say your yeah. final decision to Leonardo da Vinci, and he's like, finally. <laughs> I am so happy. I will do more research whilst you're gone. Um, I uh, I must return to the capital and All right. report this to the king. I let him know that you are cooperative, and I'm sure that will make him very happy. Um, where yeah. where is the capital, by the way? It is far east to here. Um, mm. you keep traveling east. You'll get there. Big city. Can't miss it. Um, All right. Sounds simple right. enough. All right, guys, to the snake girl. Uh, and then he puts a hand on whoever's closest shoulder. Probably Norman, because Norman's the weakest looking. But uh, be a careful. Mm. There is a there is a man that is trying to stop us. He doesn't want the towers to be turned on for whatever reason. And Wait, oh yeah, that reminds me. Someone in like the other end like tried to assassinate us, right? Like what we completely forgot about. Oh, yeah, that. the tables and chairs. Yeah. It was probably that person who hired them. <laughs> What? You did not tell me this. That is very important <laughs> information. <laughs> You're telling me the what are the people? What are the 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 people who were? Th it was in this city. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess we did forget about that, huh? We were really focused on Billy. You know how this feels? It feels like like in the canon of the manga, and then all of a sudden it splits to have like a filler arc for like a year, <laughs> and then get back to right where they Definitely left off somehow. Arc. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. my god. Oh God! Fuck. Okay. Anyway, um, well, what are you going to do about it? Are you, are you just uh, are you guys gonna go off your adventure? Or now that you've suddenly remembered that there's this guy in the tables and the chairs, are you gonna tr fight him? Uh, we should probably well, do that before we leave. Like, get closure on that before we head out of town. Yeah, we should go to address that. Why would he still what if, what fucking if we just, be here? <laughs> what, if we just, what if we just ignore ignore it? You know, like if he sends I mean, more people. I'll go away. <laughs> Uh, okay, just because I, I know that your characters will remember, maybe, and just because you guys forgot, what you guys know is there's a guy, if you go to the tables and the chairs and you ask for dragon juice, they, they will let you into an area where there's mercenaries that give you contracts and there is an informant there, a broker essentially, who gave Katya her contract, but he All was right. doing it on behalf of someone else. That's what you know. His name is Skendor. That was the information that you had. Do, do we really want to get involved? Do we really want to get involved in this? Like, I know they well, sent somebody like, after to kill us, but... Like, he's I not going like to be want there. To at least know who is trying to kill us or stop us. Like, even if we're, we don't chase that line right now... But not him. He got the contract from someone else, right? So we want to know Wait, who's... Huh. Well, they, they might still be here after we get back. I mean, if that's like how the operation works, we could just go south first, come back. It feels like that. pressing information <laughs> and that we didn't address six months ago. It was, no, it only took a month. It wasn't six months. It was like it a was month. month. It was one month. It was like a month um, max. Okay. Didn't take that long. Maybe even a few weeks. I think we should approach the Dragon Juice Man scandal. All right, we could do that. This is another vote. What does the shark think? If you say we're gonna start a fucking restaurant, <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> uh, we gotta go see the mercenaries. All right. Yeah. All right. All okay. Right. All right. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, my little baby's growing up. Is he walking or talking or yet or anything? Because it's been like a month. It's uh, been a month. His his growth oh, is. We did all that in a month. Yeah. I th I thought it was six months. No, too, it was just about. I guess month. it's just a month now. Uh, yeah. And yeah. His growth was stunted a little bit from alcoholism. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, he. Um, oh gosh. Oh my god. I yeah. He he's still talking a little bit more. Um, I don't think he's walking quite yet though. But he, before we go see a bunch of mercenaries, I'm not gonna bring a fucking baby into that, so I give it to little feather. Little feather goes. Oh, mm. I can take care of this baby. Shark, this seems like more of your world. Maybe you should. I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe you should take the lead here. Sounds good to me. Right. All right, you let's go. Right. Enter the tables and the chairs. The man behind the counter is like, "Oh, Mr. Ch Mr. Shark, th thank you so much for the business. I really appreciate it from beforehand. I'm very excited to get start 
purchasing up those uh, the, the, the alcohol. I've, I heard it was a great success, your opening night. I think one of my guys has a special thing he wants to say. Oh. And I gesture. I do a little like. Can I, can I have the dragon juice? There we go. Oh. The dragon juice. Right this way. And he, um, he opens a door. There's, there's a staircase leading down. Isn't it a she? No, it's a he. Tables and chairs. No, is that, the, it was a, the it was she. A... Was, the she was the golden. Oh, heart. my bad, my bad. Okay, yeah. so yeah. we go down, confident, chest confident. out. All right. You enter into this area, and it, it's like it's like it's almost like built into the sewer system. There's like dripping water. There's like stone, but there's tables. And there's people like gambling and drinking. It's almost like a different part of the uh, thing. Um, but there's like a uh, immediately you you notice as you walk down that there's this hooded man. Uh, next to like a bunch of paper, like a big wooden board behind him. Um, he's sort of sitting there looking kind of gloomy and grumpy. Mm -hmm. um, I approach. You approach him and he looks up at you and you, you notice that he's got like a scar running down one of his eyes. Um, and, uh, and he's also got a scar running across his lip and he's got a slightly broken he's nose. Up. He's all scarred up. Um, mm -hmm. And he looks up at you and goes, Yes, can I help you? You know who we are, right? He takes a moment to look through the darkness and he notices that your necklace, obviously. And he goes, Ah, well, I, I assume that Katya didn't get you then. Yeah, she uh, didn't. <laughs> I mean, he like puts up his hand and shrugs and goes, well, I'm not going to fight you. If you were able to beat Katia, then you'd probably beat me. Um, yeah. And he, he actually gestures to a couple people in the corner of the room. And he goes, men, stand down. And you see a couple people in the corner like put their weapons away and sit down. They were like mm. shuffling to maybe pounce on you. And he's like, mm. well, I'm sure you have plenty of questions, huh? I think I just have one that I want the answer to, and who uh, who gave you that thing? You know, who gave you that little job? Who put that in your hands? Who gave you the money for that one? You're very close. Uh, yeah, back up. Your breath smells like alcohol. Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> real and close to you. You're very right. Well, um, you guys are wanted men. I don't know what you wanted or what you uh, did. But uh, there's large bounties on your head. Um, Gave them. The man, um, he hasn't kept his name a secret. I mean, even Katya knew his name. You ever heard of the man Wellington? It's his first name, Beef. I was going to say, like the Beef Wellington? Yeah. Have we had Wellington? You, I think Katya mentioned it, it in familiar. passing. Yeah, but. Yeah, um, probably, yeah. Um, As well, if she didn't, her knees are. <laughs> I mean, for some reason, he wants you dead. And, uh, I have more bad news for you lot. Um, it seems that, uh, uh, after Katia's apparent failing, um, Mr. Wellington has, uh, hired some of the finest quality mercenaries in this side of the earth. You ever heard of the legendary mercenary gang, God's Hand? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> I love how this guy is talking like you guys know about shit in the world. <laughs> but obviously yeah. you guys know nothing. Oh, really? Well, I guess you're about to find out. Um, there are a group of five mercenaries. One for each finger. Um, and I get it. Yeah. Five, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, um, so I guess take this warning, fellas, that they made uh, come after you. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't want to be you, that's for sure. Then he leans back. Um, where do they stay? Where oh, they I, I don't know anything about them. 
Nobody does, really. I mean, we've been running a brewery for a month and no one has uh, showed up yet. They, they must not. We've been literally advertising it like crazy. Not a single I, one of them has I shown up. I in alleys intentionally at night and nothing has happened. <laughs> 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 I invite danger. Uh, <clears throat> and he, he raises his eyebrow and goes, Are you sure about that? Wait, are you a member of this? No, I'm hand? not. I'm just a broker. I barely know you're telling, to, I listen. You're telling us, I think I should break your knees. That's, that's what I'm taking. Are right you going to threaten me? I've given you all the information, buddy. <laughs> Do okay. you have uh, their names and physical descriptions? I, no, I don't know. They're just, they're, they're a legend, okay? The God's Hand. They're a legend. They're legendary mercenary. So you oh, don't know. Cool. You hired them. Like to no, I, don't, I didn't hire them. <laughs> I just got a stress here. I've got a stress here. That so, I... Okay, wait, wait, wait. So you're the broker. No, I. You don't yes. know if they exist. All right, let's let me let me clarify Did they this come for you. And get the let me clarify. You, but no, like, they didn't get. Math? Let me clarify this for you. <laughs> Wellington came up to me originally. He was like, "Hey, can you put this contract up for anyone?" And I All put right. it up, and people took the contract, and Katia. Uh, uh, didn't succeed. Later, Wellington came by, and he said. Hey, I've hired this group of mercenaries instead because obviously your shit isn't working out. That's so but Wellington is just a walk? nice guy that tells you about what he Wellington does is a nice guy. Like Your Wellington's story's falling apart so fast. Man. Wellington's a lovely guy. <laughs> I have oh, so no you know beef with Wellington. Rest. Where does Wellington live? You know him so well. I, I think he has a house in the town. Actually. Uh, give me the address. Right. Yeah. Maybe he uh, maybe he came to the brewery. <laughs> Wellington's, a, Wellington's a really good fella. Okay. All right. I'm, well, I'm close friends with Wellington. Everyone, you, okay. like, people Did know Wellington. Did speak to him? Did yeah. this guy have he? a drug problem? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm a little perturbed. <laughs> All right. So you know him. You're a good friend of him. All right. Give me his address. Here you go. All right. He, write, he writes you. it down. He passes Thank it you. over. All right, this and is address. I, can take, I take the address and I look at him and I go, and if I, this turns out not to be right, I'm going to make you adopt a child and give you that responsibility. What the <laughs> fuck a kind of threat <laughs> is even? Oh, I get it. All right, all right. Huh. All right, no. No, I'm kidding. If this isn't the right address, I'm just going to come back and fucking kill you. Oh, yeah, no, I understand that. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> now, um... Do we get the dragon juice in here, or...? There's no dragon juice. You guys are fucking mental. I can see why they want you to be dead. <laughs> I can... Us, that... I... He's the one who fucked up. I'm a... That wasn't very nice at all. I'm, I'm, I mean... I'm having a little cool. bit of a stressful day, okay? Okay. okay. I'm, gonna, well, I'm gonna punch you in the uh, face I... at about 40% no, right no, no. now. No, no, no. I go over... I go over to this man, and I, I leave a, a hand on his shoulder. I'm just like, son... Maybe this isn't the kind of business for you. You seem really stressed out. Maybe you should go and follow your passion. You know? I do have. I mean, the thing is, I look like this. So you think I would do like mercenary. I'm really shit at being a mercenary. I'm really shit yeah. at this. You could like be a... whatever you want to be, son. There's like a board with a bunch of pit pictures on it and stuff, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like lazily sweep my arm across it and just like send a bunch on the floor. I'm like, oh. oh he looks so over and he goes. Maybe this is a sign. Actually, yeah. fuck this shit. I'm gonna go go, go go become a painter. Actually, do you All want right. to become a brewer? We need a couple more. Yeah, we're we're hiring people. Uh, we have a small about, business. It's pretty successful. We're gonna start paying them at twenty gold per hour. Oh yeah, fuck it, let's uh, go. <laughs> all right, I'll take that job. Come on, boys, let's all go eat brewers. He meant 20, he meant 20 I always coppers an hour. Oh, twenty coppers always, is still very good. Come on, boys, let's a go. Copper is about a dollar. I've been told. I don't. So, um, I, I. Tony don't, has strong opinions about the minimum wage. In <laughs> uh, he like he likes yeah. he, he 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 gets all of his boys. And he's like, we're out of here. Let's go to the brewery, and they all, all march right. out. Cool. We just got All staff. Right. All right. That's how we got a staff. <laughs> That's yeah. how we got nice. staff. All mercenaries so they can hold their own. That's tech. <laughs> right, we have the safest fucking brewery. <laughs> well, if Should they we just cleared it? out, is there anything else in this room? Um, not really. All right. <laughs> I go back up and I go to the and I go. And wait, Daniel, just yes. to be clear, there, there's no dragon juice down here. There's no dragon yes. juice, no. Okay, I go back up to the bartender and I look him in the eyes and go, first I took your fucking business, now I took your fucking mercenaries. <laughs> Why are you being so mean to me? 
<laughs> this is going to be something. Every time we come back to town, I'm going to fucking make this guy's life worse a little bit. <laughs> I did. I, That's <laughs> awful. Oh, I'm going to break him. Um. So should we pay Beef Wellington a visit? Uh, let's yeah. just do it fast. I want to go to the swamp. <laughs> Norman, I know you want to. Like, what did I tell you about having sex with a snake lady? All right. Like, we don't even know no. if there's snake ladies down there. Okay. If there's, if there's bird ladies, there's got to be snake ladies oh, somewhere. Uh, and the Norman. more places we can X off the list, the faster I can achieve my I dream. Just, I just don't want you to make a bad life decision. All right. And get your mm -hmm. get bit by a snake lady. That's not you're not going to be happy if that happens. I, I would love to have a snake lady bite me. All right. But when you're on the ground <laughs> writhing in pain of a. All right. Let's let's we're having this conversation as we're walking. To yeah, we move. We move. House. Yeah. Um, William Shakespeare whispers into uh, Cody's ear and goes, um, you don't know. Uh, I can't help but notice, but you can turn into a snake, can't you? You don't can have the ability to do so. <laughs> I, I'm going to take William to the side and just like very firmly grip him on the shoulder. Um, don't ever say anything like that again. Oh, I, I don't know what you were implying. My many apologies. I, I had just, I just thought that maybe it might make him Stop. be a little Stop. bit more. Okay, Stop. dude. Thank you. Cody, Cody's my bro. Come on. You didn't hear that. You definitely did not hear that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. It was off. It was off to the side. All right. Okay. So, are you guys heading to Wellington's house? <laughs> yeah, we're heading to Wellington's I, house. Shakespeare is a um, freak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, mainly excited for our alcohol empire that yeah. we are staffing. I mean, it's probably not a bad idea. Mercenaries work there now, so no one will start any shit if yeah. they, you know, try to break into the place or rob it. They have fucking mercenaries there now. So yeah. we're Next time we come back, we should buy out both our competition. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. All right. Start a chain. You guys... I don't know how I yeah. feel about ruining people's lives like this, but whatever. You guys head down. You, f you follow the address and you head up to Wellington's house. It's a modest little building, just sort of on the outskirts of town a little bit um, in the Pretty outer and yeah. on the front door, there's a piece of paper that has a little thing that says, um, out on an adventure. And then it has a little, like, uh, skeleton, smiling skeleton face and says, maybe back in a few months. <laughs> Just with a little he, thumbs up. He does seem kill like our a nice employees. guy. He does seem like a nice guy. Yeah. Skeleton? He's got a little skeleton face on the little thing, yeah. All right. Okay. I um, guess that's the equivalent of an emoji in this world. He's I like, guess. the hell is an emoji? Can the oh, shark kick open the front door? Sure can. Do a strength check. Oh, sweet. Uh, what <clears> am I, <throat> I feel like I feel like we shouldn't be doing crimes in this town <laughs> since we're trying to establish it. I mean, I don't. We didn't have an advantage why... to fourteen, but fourteen still works. So you. Oh, sorry. You you kick down the door. Psh, the door swings open, and inside it's like it's got this nice red, plush sort of vibe to it. There's a nice like smoking chair, like. Um, uh, there's a nice table, has a little ashtray on it. There's a fireplace. It's not lit right now. Um, there's, mm. you know, there's like some, a nice dressing gown is hung up. Um, and the, you know, there's All a, right. there's a door. This is the living room. There's a little, there's like a couple doors. Well, I don't know why we had to knock the door down. I mean, we could have went to the swamp and came back. He might've just been here. Oh, I'm not going to, like, break into his home. I just want to leave it open so that when he gets home, like, his place has been ransacked by other people. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, right whatever. So, Holy shit. Okay, then. You're dealing okay, with right. a mobster, and I have not been playing the mobster part of this character enough. I want to ruin his, moral, his morality before we come in <laughs> and talk to him. Holy right, moly. So, okay. we are hitting the road again, I guess. Hitting the I road, guess, Jack. Yeah. So, you hit the road, and... Um, I mean, you You have all your supplies with you. You've said your goodbyes to Little Feather mm -hmm. already. And uh, Leonardo da Vinci's wished you good luck. I think he's already started to head off to the capital, actually. Is, yeah. is there anything we should buy since we're going to a swamp that you think we might need? Anything in supplies? particular? I guess we got supplies. Yeah, you guys Magic. Got rope. You guys. I'd say, like, let's at least bring some rope. Okay, we'll be good. Do we have rope? Uh, are you leaving Baby now. Shark with Little Feather or are you taking him with yeah. you? Leaving, we're not okay. going to take the baby to swamp. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, so you guys a baby into a head off yeah. south. It's a All little right. bit 
you know, it's it's like a, maybe a two or three day journey of just walking through fields and stuff as the grassland gets like a, a mm-hmm. deeper rich color. I don't know if you guys just hang out, talk about anything whilst you're camping or um, vibing. To remove the need for hunting, I've learned the spell Goodberry, so I can feed everyone with my good good berries. Yeah, fair I enough. I still like I still like some meat, son. I'm gonna still hunt with my bow. I'm gonna still <laughs> hunt for whatever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I bought a gallon of our finest brew. You don't you don't understand how good these berries are. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the berries are good. Like I said, I like vegetables. Wait, I want old Tony I mean, to try one of the berries. Yeah, try I'll try it. one of the yeah. berries. All right. Upon it's eating a... one of the berries, you are now nourished for like a full day's worth of food. I still Wait. want some meat, though. I ta- can <laughs> I take one of your berries, put it in my gallon of beer, shake it on up, and give it a sip and see what happens? All right. Sorry. Sorry. The shark is not carrying a gallon of beer on this three-day trek. <laughs> yeah, what are you I just, just on with, his I'm back? Just... No, it's uh, just a gallon he started the trip with. You know, he's just having I, good trips. As I want to establish it. Tony carried around like a gallon of bleach for like four episodes of this. So, <laughs> do I <laughs> do I, sh- I not know how I big a like gallon is? I was about to say you don't know how big a gallon is. I, I, I was yeah, gonna bring that up too, but I just thought, eh, well, he has a, ga- a gallon is a decent. It would be annoying as shit to carry it around for like, totally that do long. it though. But okay, I traded mine enough. for a. Short I thought bonus, a gallon. So. I thought a gallon was bigger. I'll be honest. All right. I, I thought is... I thought when you you know when you go into breweries you see the big barrels of alcohol. I thought that was a gallon. <laughs> no, that's that's a that's a barrel. That's a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I now understand what a gallon is. That's so funny because every time you said three hundred like gallons, you're like that's way too much. Like yeah, I was yeah, like, it's a lot. Not. But... No, okay, now yes. three hundred gallons is fine am... actually. There's a gallon right here. Yeah, okay, that's three hundred. Those is fine. I am old or British, so I did not know what a gallon was. Yeah, I just um, really thought it was like a fucking barrel. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Well, what like happens when I mix like a berry with the beer? Is five pretty... liters or something? Does it taste pretty good? Oh, the, um, it tastes like good berry. It tastes like good berry. It... Yeah. I mean, it just tastes like the alcohol, okay. but it's got good berry in it. It's and like... Is it like raise it above a 10? <laughs> it's an 11 now. You gotta slowly start improving it. We're just putting random shit in it. By the time you get back, you might have a twenty, you know, twenty out of twenty beer. <laughs> Guys, we we got a we got a next wave of advertising, and Shakespeare right. can rock that shit. Oh yes, right, the goodest cool, of berries. Cool. I will I will pen it to the high heavens. <laughs> okay. All of our all of our conversations are just business related. <laughs> right. All right. Um, you guys approach the swamp. Wait, no, hold hmm. up. Let me roll for something first. Okay. Uh, oh no. That's always a good sign. Okay, before you approach the swamp, you see a okay. lone traveler with a cart behind him. He's pulling mm. it along the road. Just by himself? Just by himself. Okay. And he sees you guys. And you see he's got like slightly cracked glasses. And he's got this like wild white and pink hair. It's almost like ice cream hair. And he hmm. he looks up at you and goes, mm, customers! <laughs> Hello! Hello, hello, hello! And he Uh, he runs up to you guys. He's like, would you like to buy some of my wares? I sell an ice cream! (laughs) And he points over and he's got a bunch of ice cream um, on like a Mm. on like a like a cart. A cart of ice cream. Yeah, but it's melting fast. (laughs) I'm selling Uh, quick hot hot hot, hot sales. Would you like would you like some? Did he come from? I just came from down the street with my ice cream. From the swamp? Um, not from the swamp. I avoided that. I went around it. I don't want to go inside there. People don't come out of there. But I would like some ice cream. I'm I'm good, dude. I I don't want to. No, you must. You must. You must. I have a starving child. I have a starving. How tall is he? Uh, he's like maybe four foot. Is he a (laughs) gnome? Uh, I, gnomes don't exist in this world, but he does look like a gnome. Um, <laughs> I would like. Uh, I have a. I have a starving baby, and I need to be able to raise enough money to feed them. So you're forcing us to buy your product, removing our choice. You're robbing us. No, 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 no. You could buy. No, 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 no. I, you can have it for free. Actually, you're very scary. <laughs> would you like a free sample of an ice cream? I mean, oh, yeah. Oh, sh- you, you, yes. That's What's your name? What this guy wants ice cream. What's your, is, what is your name, my big muscled buddy? My name's Cody. 
Oh, 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 my name is uh, Ganilk Snobleglock. Um, that's uh, I don't even I, know how to shorten I'm that. not a Gnoblin. <laughs> I'm not a Noblin. I'm just All a guy. Right. I look a little Gnoblin like, but I'm a my name is Ganilk Snobleglock. It's mm. my last name. You must have heard All of right. the Snobleglocks before. We're a famous uh, family in this world. I am coming up on time here. You're coming up on time? Well, <laughs> well, well, will they buy his ice cream or not? <laughs> to be old continued. Tony, old Tony is really, he's not, he hasn't made up his mind yet. Like, well, mm, well, well, <laughs> <laughs> to be continued, will they buy the ice cream and will they ever fucking make it to, to, a, to the swamp? We'll find out. The next episode will be the swamp episode, I guess. I feel like this episode should have been the swamp episode. <laughs> it's fine, right? Instead, it was we make. I, oh, I mean, I, I don't care. It sounded. We it was great. Have it was fun. a sustainable income. We have a sustainable <laughs> income. We have a good loyalty with people. It's not filler. It's an important part of the plot. This is crucial. It's, it's crucial that we do have that. Now, at least now we have a place to go where we can hang out and like yeah. as our home base. A central We're not, location. Yeah. It's a yes. crucial episode, and everyone had a good time. Yeah, yeah that was fun. <laughs> that was great. I like that. That was fun, man. I cannot believe you ended the episode with a snowball clock.